So today I've got a bit of a random movie review for you. Um, I wanted to talk about the movies Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2. Um, so, you know, the, the, um, I've always been a big fan of superhero movies, you know, the, all the Marvel movies and, and um, some of the DC movies aren't really as good other than like the Batman movies. But um, but I've been a big fan of, of, of superhero movies. Um, so this was kind of a superhero movie of a different kind. Um, it's not anybody, you know, he, he doesn't have mutant powers. Um, he doesn't have superpowers. He's not bitten by a radioactive spider or, you know, bombarded by gamma radiation um, and turned into you know, a massive Hulk. Uh, and he's not super rich and can afford to buy all these awesome gadgets and, and, and stuff. Um, he's just some kid who, you know, who sees, like, the injustice of the world and, and, and is a comic book nerd um, and thinks it would be, you know, somebody should actually try to be an actual real-life superhero. Um, the reason that, that, that I always, um, other than the fact, I mean, it, it was a really cool movie. It was, it was funny. It was fun. It was action-packed. But it kind of strikes a special chord for me because, um, for whatever reason, <laughs> I, I've actually always kind of thought it would be cool to be a real-life superhero. Um, in part because, you know, I, um, I, like, I really would enjoy, you know, protecting people and, 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 you know, making, you know, uh, kind of fighting for justice and truth and 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 not only that but you know I I, I don't want to do it for my own personal glory like I probably would be some kind of a masked superhero so that people wouldn't know who I actually was um, because I don't want to do it to be famous I don't want to do it you know to um, uh, to make money or anything like that I, I just want to do it because it feels like the right thing to do um, now of course it's not actually practical to really be a real life superhero so I've of course never done it, and there's never really been anybody who's who's really done that, um, you know, in real life. But that's why, for me personally, I kind of like it. In addition to just being an awesome movie in the first place, this movie struck a particularly a particular chord with me. So it's something that I've always kind of thought about. Um, so of course, you know, it, it's also very realistic in that at first he doesn't exactly do so well at it, as you would imagine. Someone with no training and, and anything like that, you know, they're, they're not going to. But after a while, he kind of finds his stride and, and he's kind of doing well. Not only that, but he actually he actually um, is uh, he takes he's uh, falls under the notice of um, a couple of people who are actually really doing it and who are actually trained to, which is. Um, Hit Girl and um, Big Daddy, which I always thought was kind of a stupid name, Big Daddy, at least for, for who was actually a really awesome character. Um, but it, it was really cool. It was, it was almost like a Batman-like figure. Um, and he was just, he was an awesome character in, in the movie. Um, so, you know, it, it kind of is... It, it kind of is then it goes to be like kind of what you'd expect from there it's like he this kid he's trying to sort of live a normal life but at the same time you know, he's like you're awkward hi there <laughs> he's your awkward um you know teen in high school but at the same time he's trying to be this superhero um so you know it was a great movie it was both funny it was entertaining it was um you know action-packed um the sequel it was um it kind of picks up you know it picks up where they left off and now they're kind of getting older they're like you know nearly adults they're they're nearing the end of their high school careers um and it kind of it, it, it kind of centers a little more around hit girl than the last movie did um this movie was actually really good too i thought maybe not as good as the first but i really liked it and anyway all the same and in this time around um kick ass he, he actually winds up joining a group of other like superheroes who um, they actually all kind of were inspired to become real life superheroes because of him um so they actually start like a group and um Somebody wants attention. Hey, sweetie. It's the kitty. Um, so they actually start a group of superheroes. Um, and Hit Girl, meanwhile, she's kind of coming into herself and doesn't really exactly know how to be a normal person all that much. Because, you know, she's really never been normal, per se. She's, you know, always been this kick-ass, no pun intended, um, you know, 
a character. So um, it was a great movie too. I, I definitely highly recommend them both. I love them both, and I, I think you know they're ones you should check out, especially if you're a fan of superhero movies. Okay, thank you, YouTubers. Have a nice day.